Today on the channel, I'm going to rip dye the wheels for the Super Avante TD4. I'm going to try and get them a beautiful yellow colour to match the box art. Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button to catch our weekly videos. And obviously you can catch up on all of my other videos. So today, like I said on the intro there, we're gonna rip dye the wheels that I have on my Super Avante TD4. Now we're going to use some yellow rip dye. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get that nice yellow that the box art color is because when this car came out, it did cop a little bit of flack for not having the correct color yellow because obviously it did have more of a fluoro uh, greeny yellow and it obviously has caused a bit of a stir out there. So like I said, it's easy fixed if you know how to do it. In today's video, we're gonna run through how I do the rip dye. There's a few videos out there from some other channels that cover it quite well, but I kind of figured that um, I'll show how I do it, um, may differ from what other people do, um, and obviously a few tricks to doing it uh, to get a good result. So first up, whenever you want to rip dye, I would advise you to probably rip dye new parts. Now, if you have some older parts that you do want to rip dye, obviously give them a really, really good clean. If you do have sort of an ultrasonic cleaner, I would advise to do that just because some parts, particularly lighter colors like white, these wheels here, they do get a bit dirty and a bit stained and it can affect the color that you are um, dying to, especially if you are gonna do like a, a an orange or like we are today, yellow, where it is a lighter, more transparent color. If you do have a lot of dirt and grime on whatever you're dying, it will still show through. Um, so hence why I have gone and picked up another set of these large dish Tamiya wheels because that's what I'm running on my TD4 uh, with the Schumacher tires. So I've done this a few times in the past. I always have people um, say to me, hey, how do you do your rip dye? Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I really don't think there's an exact way of doing it. Um, kind of I just did it a few times. The first time I ever did it was with a when I built my Evo Top Force Evo clone, uh, I did rip dye some star wheels there and they turned out quite nice. So um, like I said, let's hop into what I do and I'll run you through it and then I will show you the finished product on the car and we'll get to see whether it does match in a better yellow color. So first up, you need to get yourself some rip dye. Now there's probably some other brands, it's just a fabric dye and you need to make sure that your wheels will actually take the dye. So make sure that your parts are either nylon um, plastics so that it can absorb the dye. Now after we uh, make sure we've got the correct dye and we've obviously got the correct materials to dye, we can head on into the kitchen um, and boil up some water. Now what I do is I use an old sort of pan uh, saucepan that I've got here Fill it um, just so enough so you can submerge the wheels and tires, bring the water to the boil, um, and then uh, take it off the boil, but just keep a little bit of heat on there so that the water does stay um, obviously quite, I wouldn't say a simmer, but just below simmer, so whereas it's quite hot still. So I only use half the pack of dye. Um, now I did use a full pack when I first did it and I got too much color when I did dye my wheels, but then again, it is a trial and error. The yellow could be completely different. So then after that, we submerge, um, we've obviously put our rip dye into the water, give it a good stir around there, and then we can submerge our wheels into the solution. So obviously, um, I don't really know if there's a particular time frame. I usually say a couple of minutes, and I do continually check the wheels um, just to sort of get an idea of the color. And then once I'm happy with the color, I'll um, get them out, I'll sit them onto some paper towel, and then um, we will sort of let them cool off a little bit. And I do find if you do splash them under a little bit of cold water and just uh, wipe them over with your fingers, you do get a nicer finish for some reason. 
Um, I did that on one set and they do look better than a set that I didn't do it on. So that's uh, how I do my rip dye. So hopefully that little video there could show you how I do the rip dye. Now, um, like I said, I used about half, just over half of the packet. And um, yeah, it's really, really got to play it by ear. Now let's look at the results. Now I think uh, they've come up quite nice. They are a nice yellow color. And again, you do really need to just constantly uh, pull them out of the water just with a fork like I did. Check for the color. If it's not quite what you need, put it back in uh, and just be mindful that the longer you do leave it in there, the darker it will get. Now I probably uh, think that uh, it, it, it does look like a decent match for the car. Um, a lot better than the original wheels and tires that uh, did come on the car. So I think uh, now that we've got them dyed up, I'm happy with them. Let's put some tires on them. Let's put it on the car and I'll show you what you think. And um, yeah, you can let me know what you think. Uh, is that how you rip dye your parts out there? Any advice for me in the future? But let's get it on the car and let's have a quick look and see if I could get it better than Tamiya with matching the yellow. Okay, so we have put the dyed yellow uh, wheels onto the car. I think it's come up quite nice. Suits a hell of a lot better than the previous uh, white wheels plus the original yellow wheels. And just to show you how far off the original yellow wheels were, I'll put it next to the car here so you can get a good look at um, just how off that was. Now, I'm not saying that these are perfect, but uh, they are definitely a lot closer to the yellow box art that the car comes with. Now, to me, I do make like a orangey yellow uh, wheel. They're on my e top four sort of special Evo behind me there. Now, these are a lot more yellow. They're more orange. So uh, very, very happy with the end result. Let's take it outside. We'll get a few pictures. Um, we'll do a little... Uh, spin around. I've done a fair few videos on the, the TD4 Super Avante on the channel, so I'll put a, a, a link above. Uh, you can check out an unboxing, a build. We've done some upgrades as well. So um, yeah, make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen those videos. So let's go outside. Let's have a quick little whip around while we've still got a little bit of sunlight left. Uh, we'll see how this buggy really, really looks. I think the yellow wheels have lifted it. Chuck some comments down below and let me know what you think. Uh, then we'll come back and wrap it up. That's it for today on the channel. We've rip dyed the wheels. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, we've got some new TTO2 builds coming up on the channel. So uh, head over to the community tab. I did run a vote whether you want to see the on-road or off-road buggy version at some stage on the channel. Still waiting for all the parts to arrive, but it's definitely a build series that's coming. More aimed at sort of the, the beginners and obviously then stepping into some of the upgrades for the TTO2 chassis because it is very, very popular. So up next on the channel, we've obviously got the 45th anniversary model behind me here. Very, very happy to be getting that one built. I'm gonna make a start on it straight away. Um, so if anyone's built one of those, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna make a few changes, a few little upgrades that I think to me are missed just to make it that little bit better quality. Um, so we'll do those and we'll discuss those on an overview of the build. So um, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do put a weekly video out. So um, yeah, look forward to uh, chatting to you in the comments and you can click some of the videos around me here if you want to check out more videos on the channel. So until next time, I'll catch you then. Bye.